Greek Orthodox priest Father Gabriel Nadaf lives and ministers in the northern Israeli city of Nazareth. Although Jesus was born in Bethlehem, this is the city he was raised in, Nazareth. It's also today the largest Christian city in Israel. Most Christians in the Middle East come from Catholic or Orthodox traditions. Nadaf, who founded the Christian Israeli Forum, is so controversial that the Greek Orthodox Church threatened to defrock him and police must protect him with this alarm around the clock. Despite all the threats and the incitement against me, I will not turn back from my way, or I'll die, or there will be more of this way. If I don't die, I'll continue to the end. If God is for you, who can be against you? Nadaf's offense, saying he's not an Arab, reclaiming his Aramean heritage, and encouraging young Christians to integrate into Israeli society. You were encouraging young people to serve in the Israeli Defense Forces. Why are you doing that? Because we want to protect the state that's protecting us. Until recently, Israel and the rest of the world considered Nadaf and most of the 160,000 Christians in Israel as Arab Israelis, lumping them together with a large Muslim minority. But Nadaf and others like Shadi Halul say that's not true. I was raised as a Christian in a Christian family who believed in Christ, who went to church every Sunday. The opening of the Mass each Sunday is in Aramaic, so I was become very attached to it and to our Lord uh, Jesus Christ language as well. Halul is chairman for the Aramaic Christian Society in Israel. Many believe Jesus spoke Aramaic when he was on the earth. The rest of the world would call you uh, a Christian Arab, but you don't agree with that terminology. Christian Arab is a big, uh, actually, term, fake terminology. It was created only 100 years ago by uh, pan-Arabist theology. We are Aramaic population who inhabited this area at the time of Muslim conquest in the seventh century. We preserved our national identity and religious identity for 1,400 years. And now today, because we are forced to speak Arabic, we became Arabs. I am not Arabs. Recently, Israel became the first Mideast country to recognize Aramean Christians as an official minority. And in October, Halul's two-year-old son, Yaakov, became the first person in modern history to be registered as Aramean in Israel's population registry. Halul, an IDF reservist, was also ahead of the curve when it came to enlisting in the army. You joined the idea. Why did you choose to do that? I believe that Israel is my country. I live here. This is the country that protects me as a Christian. I live here in freedom. If I compare myself to other Christians in the Middle East and the way they live, I have a freedom of speech. I have freedom of movement. I have freedom in anything. How did Israeli soldiers treat you? In the army, we all Equal. There is no difference between Jewish or Aramaic, Christian as am I, or uh, even Arab, which is Muslim. What about Arabs? How do they treat you? I faced a lot of Arab telling us, you are people that betrayed the Arabs and Palestinians, and they don't accept you as a national identity that can have a freedom of your choice and a dependence of, of which side to choose. They want you to be an Arab and they force you to be an Arab against your will. Halul says it's also important for young Christians to join because it helps them to be part of the country. The IDF in Israel is considered to be school for the Israeli society. So if you join the service, three years, and, oh, three years right. you will eat with them, learn with them, talk with them. They will know about your side of identity and you will have a better chance to integrate into the Israeli society. The trend is catching on. In one year, Christian enlistment increased significantly. But many Arabic-speaking Christians still resist when it comes to integrating into Israel. Nadaf says since the founding of the State of Israel, no one told Christians of their connection to Judaism. They don't understand that Christianity really comes from Judaism. 
that the roots of Christianity are also from this land. And if the Jews will leave the land of Israel, there also won't be Christians here. There are millions of people throughout the world that will see this. Christians, how would you want these people that see this to pray for you? I want them to pray for us, for their brothers, the Christians here, for the success of the process of integration. Because if we reach this integration, there will be true love and we will live in peace with our neighbors here in the state of Israel. Together with the Jews, we will protect the land of Israel. Scott Ross in Nazareth.